Today, let us discuss about spreadsheet. A spreadsheet or worksheet is a file made of rows and columns that help sort, organize, and arrange data efficiently and calculate numerical data. What makes a spreadsheet software program unique is its ability to calculate values using mathematical formulas and the data in cells. Okay, let us determine the interface or the parts of the Microsoft Excel. The following parts of Microsoft Excel are composed of name box, formula bar, column header. Columns are composed of letters. Row header. Rows are composed of numbers. Cells. Cells are the boxes you see in the grid of an Excel worksheet. Each cell is identified on a worksheet by its reference. The column letter and the row number that intersect at the cell's location. The active cell is located in D8. You will easily determine the active cell within the name box. The column always comes first in a cell reference. Okay everyone, in this topic, we are going to use the basic calculation and formulas in Microsoft Excel. So we have here division, which is the symbol is slash. We have multiplication, the symbol is asterisk. The addition, the symbol is the plus. Sign and the subtraction, the symbol is minus sign. So in this table, we are going to calculate using the basic calculation in Microsoft Excel. So first things first, okay, click your mouse in the formula bar. So enter the equal sign, then click the value in C1. Then add the symbol of division, the slash sign, and click the value in E1. Then press enter. Now let's calculate the value in C2 and E2. So click your mouse in the formula bar, enter the equal sign, then click the value in C2. Enter the symbol sign of multiplication, the asterisk sign, and then click the value in E2. Then press enter. Then compute the value of C3 and E3. So enter the equal sign. Click the value in C3, add the addition sign, then click the value in E3. So instead of pressing the enter,
Excel. A function in Excel is a preset formula that helps perform mathematical, statistical, and logical operations. Once you are familiar with the function you want to use, all you have to do is enter an equal sign in the cell, followed by the name of the function and the cell range it applies to. Functions are predefined formulas and are already available in Excel. For example, cell A9, cell A9 below contains a formula which adds the value of cell A4, cell A5, cell A6, cell A7, and cell A8. Cell A9 Below contains is the sum function which calculates the sum of the range A4 to E8. So let's add the formula. Okay, enter the equal sign. Then the function sum. Okay, add open parenthesis and select the cell from A4 to E8. Then press enter. Okay, so next let's use the average function. So the same procedure, add equal sign, then the average function, add open parenthesis, then select from cell B4 to B8, then press enter. So the average value from B4 to B8 is 150. Let's get the maximum value in column C. So add equal sign, then the maximum function, so which is max. Then add open parenthesis, select cell C4 to cell C8, then press enter. So the maximum value using the function of max is 780. Okay, next function is the minimum function, which is a mean function. Enter equal sign, then mean function. So, enter open parenthesis. Then, click cell D4 to D8. The minimum value is 190. Let us use count function. So, enter equal sign, the count function, and then add open parenthesis, then select E4 to E8, then press enter. So, count function is to count the, the cell that contains value. Okay, so let us check the following functions or formulas. So, here, to get the sum function at the total value of A4 to E8, so we have a4, then colon, then A8. So the colon represents the range command from A4 to E8. Okay, so another here. The colon function is to determine the range of cell. So let's say from B4 to B8. Okay, maximum function. So equal sign max from C4 to C8. The same with minimum function. So, equal sign, mean function from D4 to D8. So, this is the basic function command using Microsoft Excel application.